So the app that we're using is called Power Director. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll start with a new project. So, and then you'll be greeted to this page. Now on this page here, you would see that um, you've got a uh, timeline, which is at the bottom here. So this is your timeline. Um, you can select n numerous videos from here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select from the camera. You can select from stock. You can select from download or from other locations like Instagram. Um, and we're just going to go and download from the camera. And then in the camera, you will see all of the videos that you have. So I'm just going to scroll straight here and then select a couple of videos that I've recorded. So, and before you select the video, you can preview here. So you just play and preview that. So you can see now this is one of the videos and I'm only showing you how I create my uh, videos in terms of uh, cutting the image and everything else. So I'm just going to select this video here. That looks quite one of the videos that I'm interested in using. Um, now, I've recorded this video as you can see in the background it says 4k um, I'm going to use the original because I would like to use it as a 4k and upload it as 4k and also if I want to zoom in so you've I've got more um, image to play about so now that's one of the videos there and um, so now if I go here and then I can preview other videos and uh, let's have a look so this video is just me literally um, moving the camera from one end to the next end. And um, so there you go, it's going slowly. So it's just to indicate that. So if I select that, use original. Um, so you can see now they're all going in my timeline here. Um, once more, if I go on this video, have a look how it looks like. So preview. So now this is a video there is going from the side. Um, so I'm going to drop that in the timeline at the end here. So now we have all our videos here. Obviously, um, if you're not happy with the sequence, you can touch the clip and then move it to wherever you want it to. Um, and then you can put the sequence the way you like. Um, also, you can put, literally you can cut certain places so for example if i play this video um you can see the f majority of the first bit is there's nothing going on so i can cut from there um so there's a, a pen here on the left bottom that opens up all your tools here and then i'm going to use the split um just to mention that this app is also free but if you want to um get full capacity of this app you'll need to purchase so what i mean is that if you want to use multiple overlays if you for example here at the bottom you can see there's overlay one there's music and if i want to use like overlay two overlay three four five um so uh, you need to purchase this app uh, there so i'm going to delete that so there's a delete trash bin here on the left bottom so that's gone um so for example now because I've deleted, let's say if I deleted too much, I could always extend it. You can see that that says extend. Yeah. Um, so now if I move on to the next clip here. Um, so the next clip you can see, it's going from here to a different angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a zoom. So I like to use... Um, from the stock here something that zooms in so it's a it's a camera trick that is happening here so we're going to use this one here so there is zoom in and zoom out so we're going to use zoom in is one of my favorite so it's basically let me play it for you so it's literally zooming in from the previous object to the new object so if I do that and go back to the timeline if I click the timeline so if I play this now, you will see, you can see that that's so, let's start again. So let me do it in full screen. So now we're here. It zoomed in, you see that has effect. So the person who's watching this won't notice much different because that effect now has made it look more seamless. Um, so now the next clip needs to be edited. So in order to edit the next clip, 
I can see straight away the next clip. It looks like it's kind of repeating the first clip. So we're just going to decide. We're going to decide if the first clip is actually necessary. So let's have a look now. There you go. It's doing pretty much the same as the first clip. Um, another thing, for example, um, I tend to mute all of my videos. So now, because I'm walking, you can hear the background footsteps. And if I'm talking within the video, you'll probably hear it now. Um, so in order to mute that, so all I did was um, clip the image. There's a pen icon here to edit. Um, it has so many different effects here. So we're going to go to volume. We're going to mute it all the way to zero press OK. So now this clip has no voice whatsoever. And we're going to do the same thing on all of our videos. So now all of the videos here you see they're all mute. Um, so now we said on this one here it was kind of repeating here. So what we're going to do is we'll clip it off the part that we're not interested in. So we want from here. Okay, so now if I go back to split, now I can trash this part here. And let's have a look now, how does it look? Okay, so it's basically what it's doing is that I was in a stationary and now I'm in a motion where I am literally zooming out and then I'm doing that. So what we're going to do in this one here, I felt like, like if I play it again, I felt like it was too long. Like, look, that's too long there. So what we're going to do is we're going to slow it down a little bit there, uh, make it smaller. Yeah. There you go. So now it's moving. It's going to go around. Um, sadly, the shadow is showing my um, myself. Um, so I hope that's not so much a bigger deal. Um, what I can do is I can also, because now the purpose of this video is like, it's not for me to show you detail. It's just to show you how you can edit. So you can actually remove that part of me opening. So if I go back before I went forward from here, I can cut that um, split. And then, so now I've got two options how I can cut it. So I can go all the way here and then I went down and then went back up. So I can continue from here and cut it here. Or I can do this. I actually like that. That's gone. So that's one of my... Um, and then if you look at the video now, it goes very seamless. Like you won't notice like what happened. You just see a small jump. So now that's just going round. Um, what we can do is now this clip, we can move it forward. Remember how I said at the beginning, you can move it wherever you want it. So we could move that forward next to here. So now it shows front. And then side. And this clip is too long. You can see that straight away. Can cut that to make it smaller and then we're going to literally put a transition here so now this what it does is that it flips but we just need to make sure it's flipping the right uh, we haven't played it let's have a look yes good it's flipping the right side so if we play this now, you'll see it's going to go flip to the left. Boom. Because we're going to the right.
and then now we're going on to the last clip so now this clip here is literally pretty much the same but what we're going to do is we can speed up for example if I cut that part there up to here we can speed it up the way we would like so we're going to go ease in and ease out and then we're going to increase the speed to 1.5 so it doesn't look so let's have a look so you'll see now the speed up it will come in and then it's going to go smooth out and then it's going to go in again I think this part is not necessary of the badge so I'm going to cut that in and then the last bit here and then it's going to go black out from here so and that's when the new video starts so now what we can do is here you can see everything the sequence has happened um, and here I could do a blur and this is how it's going to look like so it's showing from back to front it's just to show that we're splitting the image um, so now this video now is ready but what is missing is that titles missing color grade is missing um, if you want to put um, f fancy um, bits like um, any comments or like subscribe buttons and things like that they're all missing from here so I'll show you how you can do that within here so to put a text most of the uh, video editing apps, they don't have a um, a particular text where you could move around wherever you want it. So I could actually put a text on the left, right, top, bottom, in the middle, wherever I want it. So to put a text, so you need to go to the third one here that I've selected. It's called an overlay. Um, you've got text, you can add a video, you can add picture, you can add emoji. So for now, we're just going to add a text. Um, so my favorite one is the default. Um, so it's literally a plain one here. So I'm going to select that. And as you can see, it is in my timeline. So I'm going to double tap that, edit it. Um, so I'm just going to put, for example, how to, if I can spell it right, how to. edit okay so now what we can do is we can go onto this side and then click the tick button so now you can see the background is white because of the car is white and now the text is also white so we're going to change the color there's a but uh, there's a pen here that will change the color so we can make it bold first of all we can also change the font I tend to like this one here and then we're going to change the color to whatever color that suits you and then you can increase the size you can move it up you can move it down you can move it to the bottom here wherever you you're interested in you see that's the this app gives you the flexibility compared to other apps so if you look at for example um, I used to use uh, iMovie it doesn't give you the capability of moving the text wherever you want it so now if we play the video that's how it looks like so the first clip it's already finished so now you can see the text is going in the 
you can see the text is going in the transition I wouldn't want that to happen so now if we play it again perfect so now there the text disappears before the transition so I'm just aligning it and it's also good to check how it's going to look like on the full screen because now on the timeline here it looks a lot um, small so you can literally click that symbol there and that gives you the full screen play it have a look how it looks like okay so now that's in what's next you could put uh, a badge here saying that please subscribe um, so it's uh, from a green screen studio we're going to click image so now you've got so many options here I've got um, a green screen studio but now let me share with you what the stock has so pad director has a lot of videos here where you can use and they are all free copyrights but I'm interested in the green studios for example this one here so if I show you first yep subscribe and ring the bell so we're going to do that so now that's dropped in our timeline what we're going to do now is now this is all green and you don't want to upload it like that and now we're going to edit this now to remove the green bars so let's go to the pen and now we're going to go to chrome chroma key we're going to click the color tool pen and then click the background so now the background has gone what we could do is um, let's have a look first how it looks like so that's how it looks like now we can move this wherever we want it to we could have it here and finally now how you can save this so on this top right corner there's an arrow so this just takes you to produce now you've got few options where you can save it to your phone direct you can save it to Facebook direct YouTube or other places so I'm gonna go here save as and is always always advisory to save as ultra HD 4k as soon as it's finished you can either you've got the option either play it now to watch it or press OK or open the video itself. Um, do let me know in the comment below, then that way I know a lot of people are interested in more advanced. I'll go ahead and do one for you. Thank you very much. Peace out.